Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun video for you that I've been meaning to film for a while, which is talking about some of the Hermes bags releases or re-releases of some of their older vintage bags. Hermes is a company that does not do trends. They tend to stick with all of the classics and you typically don't see a whole bunch of novelty every season. You know, a lot of these big fashion houses every season season sometimes they come up with like crazy new things you know if you look at like Louis Vuitton they have all of these special edition collections and all of this novelty and all of these new prints Hermes doesn't work like that you know which is part of their marketing strategy but I do believe that Hermes lately has been toying more with innovation which is pleasantly surprising to me because what happens is, guys, as a consumer sometimes, when you buy some of the things that you like, if they are not releasing new things, you kind of run out of things to buy, right? And when I think about Hermes, that you need to be consistently buying in order to keep your history up, in order to get the good bags, I think innovation is very important. You know, sometimes I will go to the store and I will take a look at some of the things and there's nothing I want to buy. Like I'm a, I'm a big shoe fanatic, for example, it's something that I buy all the time. And a lot of the times I feel like with Hermes, I kind of run out of options, you know, cause they don't release a lot of new things. And if you kind of like are not a huge fan of like the ore and sandals, for example, you know, there's not a whole lot to buy. So I'm very happy to see Hermes, you know, kind of like trying to innovate a little bit more to give us more options of things to buy. You know, right now I'm really obsessed with everything for home for Hermes. But when I look at the ready to wear, you know, and when, aside from the big bags, there's not a whole lot that's on my list. And I, I do want to keep buying because I do want to keep getting my Kellys and my Birkins, right? So it makes life a lot easier if we have things to lust after to keep your history up with the brand. So guys, I have a list of bags that I want to talk about today. And if you are new to the channel, I'm Erica from Erica's Girly World. If you love luxury fashion, talking about trends, everything that is cool out there, shopping, vlogs, you know, you came to the right place and I hope you love it enough to subscribe. And for my returning subs, you guys are the best, right? So guys, let's get to the meat of the video. The first thing I want to talk about is the Kelly Dance. So this is a bag that has been released in the past and has been re-released this season. Not this, this season. The first I heard of it was a few months back. When my essay first sent me information about the Kelly Dance, I was kind of like, on the fans, but uh, I think it's such a modern bag. I feel like that is one gap that Hermes has, in my opinion, is Hermes caters a lot to the classic, you know, and things that are not trendy and they kind of withstand the test of time. But that is typically a challenge for you to connect with younger generations because as a business, if you're not connecting with the younger generations, you fail because people die, you know, like as your customer ages, you lose them, right? Because they do die. You know, I have a friend that worked for Chanel and she had like this solid list of clients that spend a fortune. She didn't even care to get new clients because she had these really rich few clients. This was back in Boston. And it got to a point that she was like, you know, my clients are like dying. Like I need new clients because the ones I have are passing away, you know? So you, in order to stay relevant, you have to stay in touch with the younger generations. And I think that's one area that Hermes could improve upon is, you know, a lot of what they do caters obviously um, to the vast majority of their clients, which I think are people that are older and that are very well to do, very, very wealthy. And obviously people in that category are not, are not very much about trends. But when you think about people that are starting to love the brand or even I consider myself to be mid middle age group and but I still like trends. I still like innovation, you know? So when you come with too much of classics, I tend to get bored because I like novelty. So I think for them to connect with the middle age crowd and younger, I do think they need to introduce things that are a bit more exciting, right? And keep us giving things to lust after to buy so we can get Birkins, right? So guys, the Kelly dance, 
I think is a beautiful bag, okay? It is a classic because it is modeled after the traditional Cali bag, but what I love about it is that you can use it many different ways. And I'm gonna show you some footage as part of um, another YouTuber's channel. I actually reached out to her and asked for her permission uh, to use this footage. And she said, yeah, of course, as long as you give me credit. So her channel is Anastasia Bagaholic. I'm gonna put a link to her channel below. And her Instagram is LV underscore Bagaholic. But she has a Kelly dance and she showed us all of the different ways that this bag can be worn, which I think is so awesome and practical. And guys, you can wear this bag as a shoulder bag, which I think is awesome. And the strap is long enough that you can also wear it crossbody, which is the number one way I carry my bags nowadays. It's crossbody. I don't want them falling from my shoulder. Carrying is kind of a pain in the butt, you know. So I think that is one department that um, Hermes was lacking is giving us options on bags to wear crossbody and this one beautifully guys now the other cool way you can wear this is as a backpack and i'm thinking about what a great way to appeal to the younger crowd right because we know like the louis vuitton mini backpacks are such a trend so hot and i think this is a nice way to wear a backpack that's kind of like 10 notches above everybody else, right? And then the other way that you can wear this is as a belt bag. And we know belt bags are so hot. I mean, you guys know I have not invested on a belt bag, right? Because I'm still kind of skeptical that this is gonna be around for the long haul. Do I want a belt bag? Of course I do, I think they look amazing. You put a belt bag with a blazer and you look so freaking hip and modern and like fashion blogger, right? So I might succumb to this trend, but I'm not gonna invest a, a fortune on a belt bag. And with the Kelly Dunn's, I think it's perfect because you get the belt bag look, but once that is over, you can wear the bag a million other ways, guys. You know what I mean? Now, I talked to some of my friends and got some feedback on this bag. It was kind of like mixed reviews. Um, my friends tend to think a lot about resale and they're like, ah, oh, we think this bag is gonna be hard to resell and you know, Kelly's and Birkins are much better to resell. But guys, like you, you cannot live your life in fashion just thinking about resale value. I mean, you can't. You gotta think about personal satisfaction. I mean, that has to be one of the parameters for your equation. If you're throwing away your personal satisfaction and your love and butterflies in your stomach because something doesn't sell as easy as a Birkin or, or, or a Kelly, I think you're kind of missing out on the point of fashion, right? So do I love the Kelly dance? Yes. Would I buy it? Yes. But you would have to be gold hardware. You guys know I, I can't do silver. I mean, silver is such a turn off for me. So the palladium hardware, I can't, even though Probably for the edgy look of the Kelly Dance, the Palladium is a better fit. But for me, I have to have the gold, guys. And then one thing I wanna ask you is, I would love to hear from you out of all of the bags in this video, I wanna know which one is your favorite. Out of all of these releases that I'm gonna talk about, which one is the one that you love the most and which one would you consider buying, okay? So that's option number one right there, is the Kelly Dance. All right, so the next one that we're gonna talk about Ah, oh, I am in love, which is the Mini Lindy. Have you seen the Mini Lindy? And the funny thing is, I don't know, the Lindy has never really rocked my world, was never on my list of bags to buy. It's just a shape that, I don't know, I don't like it. I don't necessarily like the two kind of like handles to carry, you know. Um, it's a bit more of like a casual bag, I believe. So the bigger sizes were not something that rocked my world. So I would have never bought a Lindy until now. Because when I saw the mini Lindy, I almost died. It is the cutest thing in the universe, guys. And then I saw on Instagram, a red one posted with gold hardware. And then when I saw that, I sent my essay uh, a message and I was like, oh my gosh, I want one. This is so beautiful. So guys, the mini Lindy is obviously the smallest one of all of the Lindys, but it is still quite spacious. That's the cool thing about it is you can wear it as a shoulder bag and you can wear it as a crossbody, but it is a very spacious mini bag. And then you can add, you know, the twillies on both of the little handles and make it look so cute so 
anyway, when I saw that, you know, I told my essay, hey, be on the lookout for a uh, Kelly Dunn's. And then I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, I want the Mini Lindy too. Let me know what you get. The next one that I want to talk about is the Kelly Walk. Okay. So Hermes officially launched a wallet on a chain, a Kelly wallet on a chain. So until now, what you had to do, and I've seen a lot of people do this on Instagram, is actually buy a Kelly wallet and then put either an Hermes necklace, like one of those silver necklaces, and make that your strap, or a Twilly, you know, and they would kind of put a couple of Twillies together and make the strap be a Twilly. Hermes caught on to that and saw that there is a great opportunity because here's the thing, walks are lower price points, so it's a great entry level bag for those who love the brand and cannot afford a $12,000 Birkin bag, right? Chanel capitalizes on this a lot. They sell walks like crazy because you get the Chanel look, you get the Chanel name, but you don't have to pay four or $5,000 for a bag, you know? You typically can get a walk for like 2,000 at Chanel, right? So I think Hermes has realized that and they are providing more opportunities for people that do love the brand, that cannot afford the higher price point bags to still be part of the action, right? And I think for them it's very smart because it is profit. I mean, you do sell more of lower price point bags. I mean, it's just how it is with every fashion brand. I think it was a very smart move on their part and it's a bag that is super practical, guys. So if you love the look of the Kelly and you wanna have have that look without having the more formal bag. There's a lot of feedback on the Kelly bag that the Kelly is kind of hard to open, it's more of like a formal bag. I think this is a great option. I don't use big wallets anymore, you know, so a big Kelly wallet for me was never really an option for me to buy because I, I my bags are all that small, they don't fit big wallets anymore. And then having to buy the wallet and then having to buy the Hermes necklace to be able to make a walk and then it becomes cost prohibitive. What is the point? right if you have to spend the money buying the wallet and then spend the money buying the necklace to be able to make it a chain it's like okay I'll just buy a walk from another brand right I think now it's like oops hello 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 okay the next one I'm gonna talk about is definitely more controversial okay which is the micro Kelly bag and I don't know if you guys have seen the micro Kelly bag but it is a fully functional Kelly bag that is like this big okay you can open the straps you can actually put something inside that tra tiny little bag and it's more of a charm right so you would purchase the micro bag to hang from your Kelly bag in my opinion or hang from your Birkin bag and it is the cutest thing you have ever seen okay but here's the thing with that bag it costs I believe it's you know it's between twenty five hundred and three thousand dollars is the price for the micro Kelly so it is a lot of money for something that is not truly functional right I mean realistically speaking you're paying 25, 26, I don't remember exactly the amount, but you're paying this amount for a bag charm. It is not a bag that you're gonna carry on its own to go somewhere, right? So normally, if it's something I love, I wouldn't think twice about paying $3,000 for a bag, but for a charm, I don't know. For me personally, it's cost prohibitive. You know, if I was a baller and I had a ton of money, would I buy a little Kel a micro Kelly to put on my Birkin? Of course I would. That is the cutest freaking thing. Cause I feel, how do you make your bags unique? It's with the Twilly, it's with the charm. So if you can buy a Birkin, for example, put a gorgeous Twilly, and then you have a gorgeous micro Kelly hanging from your Birkin, you just took your Birkin to the next level, right? So I think if you can afford, it is the freaking cutest thing. So again, this is all about your luxury stairwell, right? So if you are a beginner on your luxury stairwell, would you buy a micro Kelly? I say hell to the no, right? If you are in the mid range like myself, still kind of a no for me because it is a lot of money. If it was $1,500, I would do it, you know, to put on my Kelly. But almost $3,000, guys, I would rather get a full-fledged bag, right? So I think if you are in the middle of your luxury stairwell, I don't think it's a worthwhile purchase. But if you are at the top of your luxury stairwell, 
Of course, because then you're making your bag super exclusive. You're making your Birkin something that nobody else has because you have a micro Kelly hanging from it, right? So again, I think the decisions depend on where you are on your luxury stairwell, right? The next one I wanna talk about is the Kelly Depeche. And this is more a clutch slash pouch. Um, so it doesn't have a strap. It's something that, it's a little strap that kind of like wraps around your wrist and you kind of carry it like this. It is quite spacious. You can definitely fit your essentials there, but it's not a full-fledged bag, right? It's more of like a clutch. I think it's very chic for you to go out at night. Oh, sorry, I have a little strand of hair here that's driving me insane. It is very chic. You can carry it at night. You can put a super cute dress and you can carry it around a, like a clutch, you know, very she-she. And I think it's a great bag for boys. You know, it's something that you, I, I feel like it almost looks a bit more masculine. You know, the way they did it, is to make it purposely unisex for guys or girls. So I think the boys, super chic for you to carry around town, you know, kind of like with it hanging around your shoulder without looking like you're carrying like a, kind of like more of a feminine bag. So I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. The price, I think it's around $8,000. So all of these bags, guys, that are not like the main bags, like the Kelly's and the Birkins, they will cost you between like six and eight thousand dollars, right? All of the ones that I'm talking about. The the lower price point bags are like the Evelyn's, for example. These are not Evelyn prices because these are like full fledged, more of kind of like the higher notch collection for Hermes. So these bags are not gonna come cheap. None of them are gonna come cheap. Okay. So this one again is gonna be on that same range so here's my personal opinion you know the Kelly the Pesh, unless you are a guy I'm not sure I would buy it because I think I would buy any of the other ones that I mentioned previously I mean I don't know what do you guys think and the last thing I want to talk about today is the super cute shopping bag charm from Hermes have you guys seen that it is the cutest thing on flipping earth what a cute way to make your bag super personal by hanging a cute shopping bag charm and you guys know the Hermes shopping bag is iconic right there is no better feeling than walking around the store with the orange shopping bags from Hermes I mean it, I don't know it's like it's exhilarating right I mean if you have had that experience you know what I'm talking talking about. It's like you walk around Hermes and you score the bag of your dreams with that orange shopping bag. It's like you have conquer the world for that one minute you know so what a cute idea to transform that into a little bag charm that you can add into any of your other bags and then the other thing is if you cannot afford an Hermes bag if you're not there in your luxury stairwell yet what a great way to have a piece of Hermes in your life you can get this cute charm and put in any bag who says it has to be on an Hermes bag right so if you want to have a little piece of orange in your life you can get any cute bag and you can put that as a charm and it's gonna look like a million bucks i mean i just think it's the most adorable thing on earth i did not get this charm i knew when this charm hit stores but guys the end of last year for me until about now with the coronavirus hitting us it has been all about travel for me like i have prioritized traveling over buying things you know so i kind of go in cycles you know i'm not a person that wants to spend all of my money on luxury and never go anywhere you know i don't i try to find a balance and i want to buy nice things but i want to experience things you know i do want to travel the world i do like to eat in nice restaurants so what happened was november last year i went to paris with my friend val and then I came back and then Christmas hit us with all of the Christmas expenses. And then December and then January hit, I went back to Paris for a fashion show for Couture uh, Fashion Week, which I'm gonna be releasing the vlog soon. Um, and I went to London as well, right? So I did a lot of traveling and I prioritized spending my money on travel versus buying things. So as these things hit stores, I was in talks with my SA and I never asked her for any, but I probably could have, but guys, I was prioritizing spending my money on travel. You know what I mean? But what is happening right now is I am craving some serious Hermes right now. I really am, guys. I would love a bag. I would love for my special order to arrive. It's been a while since I had an, an exhilarating Hermes experience. I, The last Hermes bag I got was my Mini Cali, which is gonna 
it's it's hit its first year anniversary so it's been a year since i have bought any hermes bags i have bought lots of other hermes things like shoes clothes for my husband like little things here and there pillows for my house but it's been a while since i scored a bag and i just would love to score a bag so it's like you know being home stuck in covid 19 quarantine i've like it would be really nice when all of this is over to have a little orange surprise in my life you know we'll see but guys i hope you enjoyed talking a little bit about the hermes new releases let me know if you want me to make more videos like this as i hear of new things coming out you know to keep you in the loop and let me know which one of the items that i mentioned on the video today was your favorite thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you on the next video love you bye